You know, the other day, mm -hmm. I got this new sweater mm -hmm. and I brought it home and put it on. The, the dang thing started falling apart. Mm -hmm. I called him up, the clothing store. Turns out it was made of Elden string. Oh, dang. And so it fell right apart. Dang. It wasn't new fabric. It was Elden. Mm. See, I got that new fabric. It was Elden string. The string was, it was Elden string. Mm -hmm. Did you, did everyone hear me? Is this on? Did, did you hear Jacob? Did you hear me? This, it was Elden string. Everybody. Did you get it? Is everyone, did you hear me? Uh, Gen Z this these days are all about the the they know all about uh huh okay here the, we go Gen Z's these days okay Gen, okay Gen, yeah Gen Z's Gen Z's these days Gen Z these days only know about mm hmm. Uh, the Elden Ring, because they're always like, they're always like on their phone. But wait, you know, okay. Back, you're, okay, you're losing me a but little bit. But, I don't... Back, but back in my day, uh huh, we were all we whatever happened to books? Where where are you gonna learn about those Elven rings? Like the one, the one true ring. The elven, the elven, we, back in my day, we uh -huh. used to call them elven rings. Okay. Now kids these days are all about the. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. They're all about the, the elven ring. So this is like a Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Sort of reference. Yeah. Like if you were, like if you, like if you were mean. Old, yeah. Okay. You would know about Lord of the Rings, yeah. But since these people are young, okay. they wouldn't know about anything uh, in general, apparently, according to old people, right? So, okay. So, because Elden Ring is like the the thing right now, they know about that because that's the hot shit. Yeah, they're too good. But they don't for the know. They don't know about the Elven Rings. Yeah. That were made. How, how many rings were made for the elves? Where's the Lord of the Rings fans? Seven. I know the rings. The elves got a bunch of rings. The dwarves got a bunch of rings. The humans got a, a few rings. Three. Three rings for the elves. Seven's divisible by three. That None of, none of what you said meant anything. <laughs> <laughs> if you divide three by three, you get one. If you add that to... So if you divide seven by three, the closest you can get is six. Then you tack on, if you, if then as a side thing, you divide three by three, you get one, and then you add it together and then you get seven. Do you know what divisible means? <laughs> it doesn't mean that if you do a bunch of unrelated that's that, math. That's that new math. That new math. This that's, is that Elden math. But what happened to Elven math? That's the, the countdown math right there. Y'all are so wrong. There are 19 rings in total. How many rings did the elves get? Divisible by three. Young people only care about Elden Ring and Lord of the Rings, but not Lord, not the Lord or their elders. Now, that's a good joke. That's actually Wait, a good Okay, one. that's Mother Muchy. Let me just deliver that one real quick. Yeah. Let me put my own little, little stank on it. Okay. Young people these days only care about Elden Ring. That's right. And Lord of the Rings. That's right. But but folks, ladies and, and gentlemen, mm -hmm. why don't they care about the Lord or their elders? He said it. We've been teaching them wrong. Break. We've been teaching them wrong. Brave. Thank you. Thank you. Bravery. And that's why we vote. <laughs> Um, the ads are about to start, so I'm going to start reading subs. 
I, I changed the ad timing so that hopefully they'll start sooner. And this says ad starting soon. We know, we don't know how, when that's actually going to happen. It feels like it's like a solid minute. It does feel like it's a solid minute before they actually start. I'm like, I'm looking at the timer. I'm going to see if that's right. Is it a minute or 30 seconds? Because it feels like an eternity when it's happened before. When, when the second group of ads played, they start like right away. They're raring to go. It seems like it takes them a while to find, to find these first to ads. To find themselves. Yeah. Okay. So it's not 30 seconds because the 30 seconds has passed. Okay, we're going to see when these ads run. And I don't know if it's even consistent. Okay, Jamie says three rings for the elves, nine for the humans, seven for the dwarves, and one for Sauron, but he made that one himself. <laughs> that makes it seem really sad. He's like, I want to be involved. It's like, oh, no rings for Sauron, huh? I guess I'll just make it myself. The humans get nine rings, but you couldn't... Give them spare eight. Spare one for one old Sauron. And a, a one Sauron couldn't get the ring, huh? Fine, I'll just make my own but, club. But nine for the human. Okay. I see. I understand. I'll make my own ring and it'll be the best ring of them all. He made them all. He made all of them but the elf ones. This lore's fucked up. Lord of the Rings is the lore is fucked up. I'm there's sure, too much of it. I'm sure that if you went to World War One or World War Two or whatever it was that he went to, that you two would create an entirely fictional world and spend way too much time writing too many details for it. Listen, I fully support him and his cool world that he made. Yeah. That doesn't mean that I have to know all of it. Yeah. Know about it and all of it. Yeah, Celebrimbor. What about Celebrimbor? He made some rings, didn't he? What about him? What about Celebrimbor? Olive, what about Celebrimbor? <laughs> the ads still haven't started. They still say they're starting soon. <laughs> Olive, the ads haven't started. What's going on with the ads? I remember Celebrimbor was in that game. Lord of the Rings... Shadow of Mordor, Battle of Mordor. Yeah. Shall, shall, shadow of Mordor. <laughs> okay, yeah. He was like in that one in a, in a major way. That's why I know him. Celebrimbor, just, it feels like there are certain names that when you say them or read them, you go, like, you know how the person who came up with them did it. They were just like, oh, what was this guy's name? Kel yeah, Kel uh Celebrimbor, yeah, whatever. He's like looking around his apartment. He sees some some celery. He sees Kellogg's. He sees some celery, but he always calls it Kellery. <laughs> he, he thinks about the Balrog. It's all he can think about that day. Kella, Kella, Bor no, Kella Brim, Kella Brimstone, no, Kill Kella Brimstone, no. It's something. Oh, we'll whatever. get it. We'll, we'll get it. Whatever. Um, I'm just going to start reading subs. I don't know what the ads are doing or what they're going to do. You know when you finish, they're going to start. They're waiting for me to finish. I know. So I better get, get ahead and get in on it. We got subs from Allegretto, Abby2489, Damn Sam I Am, Boodle Doodle, Tulo Ken, Tiniest Hands, Fine Sunny Day, Linen Arm, Kalahapa. Why is my phone buzzing so much? Why is your phone buzzing so much? It Me Nanners. Immortal Tommy, Blind Willie Steve, Kate Lethem, Coriander Bandit, Librarian 2, The Appendix, J. Airy, Pimely Stalwark, The Wicked at Rest, Roomful of Lesbian Vampires, Running Towards Trouble, Dusky Harlequin, Fear How It Heals, X Toxic Bucket, Too Many Elves, Baker Street Babe 98 gave out five gifted subs. Thank you. JJ Boatman, To Your Liking, Ass Wagon, Throne 5, Composite Ghost, Tell your cats I said saw, dude. Gave out five gifted subs. Wow, that's wicked. Much of many things. Val Pal White, Shadow Man 1188, Be My Badger, Unidentified Flying Skyler, Dorkivore, Read Marks, Damn It, Meg Dorkable, Change My Name, Mess of Jacob. Nathan's other show rated us. Thank you, Nathan. Professor Rad gave out five subs. Haw Ye 73, With Syrup, Cannibal Opossum, Audax 1996, Baby Dwagon Age, Lex the Espresso Cat, Mimsy 1992, Lpez 33. And G. Ellen, 
Empty X Attic, Mora 40, Soul Sunder, Nvidia Siren, Pyropia123, Sarah Bear Baby, Jax the Heart Witch, the Hearth Witch, even. Song Sprite, Alabaster Saurus, Ezra Ordinary, Katie Wyvern, Sturgeon Bay, Superhuman Foods, Ides of Starch, Minty Berry Jam, Samus Crank Pork, Sim Chaleco, Your Clairvoyant Friend, Mick Bennick, Sushi sh- Sushi Sushi. Hunter Wine Winethy, the Futbucker, Rando79, Joy Daily, Celestial Dragon Lord, Cab Dash Soul, Imunya, Taylor X, Arctic Joy, gave out five gifted subs. Thank you. A hot gay robot, Jazz Array, Corn for Peepee. Corn for Peepee, please. <laughs> and Sir Jenks, thank you all so much for subscribing. Wow. Thank you. The ads still have not started running. So I don't know what the deal is with twitch um i guess we're just going to start playing the game and when the ads they started the ads started (laughs) how (coughs) does this keep happening it's like they're watching how does this keep happening this is literally every time no matter how i try to time it out no matter if i go sooner if i go later it doesn't matter like it's every time i finish reading the subs why does it keep happening like this i i do not know why are you flicking your tail come over here well olive's coming over queer kid sid got their jacob horse yesterday yeah uh, said I showed it to my mom when FaceTiming her with very little context of what it was, and she loved it. How it's, could you not? It, it it makes everyone laugh, whether you know about it or not. Twitch ad incentive program, a secret psych experiment confirmed. I do feel like they're like, they're, they're testing me. They're pushing me and they're testing me. Yeah. What beer is that? This is the Zero Gravity... Zero, let's get, let's get the camera to look at it. Come on. The Zero Gravity Frankie Ale with Fruit. Frankie. Bright, spritzy, everyone's summer crush. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. It would be weird if we were sponsored by them. By a beer company? Yeah. I would love that. <laughs> if any breweries want to sponsor me by giving me beer. That would be incredible. I am uh, planning on eating at some point these cookies. The question is, when is she going to eat the cookie? Just like and that's what the you ad don't, breaks. Yeah, you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know when it's going to happen. The can design is amazing. Yeah, they got great can design over there at Zero Gravity, not sponsored. How did Olive escape the orange? We don't know. Yeah, she that's did. a mystery to this day. She's the Houdini of cats. Because she somehow got, she somehow loosened the cord and got yeah. out. Yeah. It was incredible. Oh my God. We got a, a first time chat from someone who in all caps wrote Shoko Ban. Thank you. We got a Frenchie in chat. We got someone who's equally as excited for my favorite little French cookies as I am. Every time. We discovered that there's a French grocery store near-ish by and they sell Shoko Bans. Yep. Mm-hmm. And a lot of other French things. Mm-hmm. Like creme de marron, which is delicious. But I can only have a little bit at a time because it's a lot. It's a flavor bomb. You can only have a little bit because it's a lot. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Camellia Vora said, I sleep on my side and my Jacob horse is the perfect size to fit between both my knees and ankles so I don't bruise myself at night. Truly a blessing in the shape of a turd. Yeah. That's one of the use cases for this horse. Yup. It's a great for it's a great bed pillow for in between your knees. Yeah. And you can use it that way and I'm not gonna judge you. I'm gonna support you. It's a good neck pillow too. It's a great neck pillow. Um, ads are over. I would like to play the video game now. Yes. If that's okay. Yeah. Reminder that we're not going to be streaming on Sunday because we'll be at Anime NYC. So this is the last time this week you're going to see us. So get used to it. Soak it all in. Get used to not seeing us. Let's crank that up. 
I bought my kitty an orange for his licking problem. It's good. It's very effective. Are we summoning this time? We're summoning this time. Yeah, we're summoning every time. We're summoning every time. I have to click on the game. That would help. So first things first, you'll notice that um, while we were away from our girl Geraldine Slay, she got a little makeover. New armor set, baby. <laughs> Oh, she got a little cold around the neck and head area. That's such a mood. You got me a, a scarf like that, that I could do that with. <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> I farmed up this armor um, off stream so that I could come back with a good look. And you did. You did do that. You did come back with a good look. Thank you. Um, so this time, baby, I'll be bulletproof. But also this time we're going to the new area called Liernia, which I love. I love the look of every area in this game. Yeah. But Liernia is one of my faves for sure. Um, and I think the first place we'll be summoning, it'll be a bit before we summon. We got some, a bunch of NPCs to go find and talk to. Mm -hmm. um, I think the first place we'll be summoning is the Crystal Tunnel. So if you want to get summoned, meet me at the Crystal Tunnel. The multiplayer password is Yammers with a capital Y. Farming off stream is my love language. You don't need to watch the farming. No, nobody needs to see the farming. That's just for me to do. And for you to find out, this was Godric's throne, I'm assuming. Got that double wide throne. He just sat here in this room surrounded by statues. And for what? And graves, I'm assuming. And here's a statue of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Don't you worry, we'll we'll be meeting him later. Much later. I can't believe Geraldine Slay's eyes are out now. Yeah, her eyes are out, but everything else is covered now. Yeah. This is the wrong way. There's literally nothing in that room. It's there and there's nothing there. Unless, have you checked all the walls? Oh, I've checked all the walls. Dang. How do you follow the story in this game? Well, the first playthrough, you don't. You yeah. just kind of get what bits of it you can. Um, and then the subsequent playthroughs, like this one, I planned it all out so we'd be able to to see all the story, to interact with all the story. Important item over here. And this guy's got something to say about it. Maiden, dear maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. <laughs> Please. Grapes? Please take my grapes. It's a Shabriri grape. Okay. It's not an eyeball. Don't don't worry. The grapes. Don't worry about that. It's his grapes. Is that how American health insurances look at eyes? They're like, that's not part of the body. It's a uh, grapes. Oh yeah, those are your grapes. Those are grapes. Those are your grapes. Don't worry about that. Those are the grapes that you choose to have in your head. Those are your head grapes. So we, we don't can't need to cover it. Yeah, we can't cover those. We can't cover grapes. Are you kidding me? So we'll, we'll get our first look at Liernia over here. Except it's cloudy. Hold on. We'll talk to you in a second about the grapes. I'll be in touch regarding the grapes. We want it to be daytime, please. Give me high noon. Oh, here we go. Now we can get that view that we're here for. Now this is the Liernia view that you come for. So cool. Yeah. Love the composition of this. Mm -hmm. If you look just like straight down the middle, it's like a perfectly composed yeah. piece. I also like to think of the person who was like, where should I build my castle? Oh, right there. Dead center. We'll just put it right in the middle. We'll put it right in the middle. 
That looks good. And now we'll talk to our first new friend. You'll also notice that Bach is here now. Um, Bach shows up at certain sites of grace to do alterations on your clothing if you want him to. Yeah, Bach. But it'll be a, a good while before we continue with Bach's I love your music, story. Bach. Your music saved me. Your music saved me. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata, and I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I got well, I say it has been weeks since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next, but when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Well, good news, buddy. I had just so happened to have found a grape. And you may have one. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. All right. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Don't say that to me. And we get the as you wish gesture, which of course we're going to check out immediately. Yes, thank you. As you wish. You got anything else to say? You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers nope. be upon you. Just the blessing of the fingers. She's like, you're, I'm done with you now. You, you know the great. blessing of the fingers. Hi, Bach. Bye, Bach. Bye, Bach. Now we're going to pop into this church here. We got another real just sad sack to meet. A real just sad, useless fellow. Oh, this man. I'll take this. Thank you. Hello. You're tarnished, aren't you? Then perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Blinstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. It's Desmond Money Coots. <laughs> it is Desmond Money Coots, the famed magician. Yeah, you can have ten runes, oh, bud. Bless you. Bless you. You are a true saint. My name is Topes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. This is why he's a sad sack, right? He's like, could I have 10 runes, which you get, you can't, there's nothing you can kill in this game that gives you 10 runes. All right. That's like a hundred runes minimum. If you're killing like the lowliest skeleton and this dude's a wizard. Yeah. He could walk like 10 paces any direction, shoot a glintstone pebble, be swimming in runes. And then once you give him the runes, he's like, I'll teach you my spells, but they're bad. They're bad spells. They suck and I suck. Us every Wait, come on, class. buddy. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. All oh, right, I can tell Do you, you think what he's I know just being about sarcastic. This place. No, that should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's yeah. the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the East Gate leading to the capital, and the South Gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Dude freaking got locked out of his own school. <laughs> Tell me about the key. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy. And you'll never reach the Erd Tree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends. And I can be very patient. Would you consider... Donating it to me? I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. 
But still, Good shoes, though. my place is at the academy. <laughs> Tell me about Selen. That's the woman we met with the big stone head. Right. The apostate the... witch. Right. You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the academy. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. Find yours without one and you'll never reach. Got it. All right, later, bud. Dude got locked out of his own school. Do you think that's how they told him he was fired? <laughs> They were just like, uh, I can't face him. What if we just? Him. He's too sad and pathetic. I don't. I can't look at his face on a fire. All right, now we're riding on for a bit. We're gonna ignore. Well, I want whatever this is. Academy scroll. I'll take the academy scroll. Ooh, that's a big. I gotta. Drop. I gotta. I shouldn't go down that way. Mm -mm. That's a recipe for dying. Mm -hmm. I'll go down like a normal person. Me. A semi-normal person. Got a little camp over here. Little camp of boys. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. I took your Glintstone Craftsman's cookbook. And we'll pop over here to the Grace. There's a little merchant over there. Do I have enough runes for a level? I can flask up. Flask up. Flask up, gamers. If any of you uh, have any beverage, please take a sip. Take a sip of the beverage, flask up. Remember to hydrate. Take a little more faith. Oh, I guess it would be nice. No, it's the wrong song. Cause you gotta have faith. That one? Yeah. Hello. So we're wanting to come over here, get this. Ow! Get this. <laughs> You got slapped. Did There's you ever a grace see Grace over here? Get away from me! The music video for Freedom by Drake Michael. Yeah, you showed it to me. Oh, okay. Sounds about right. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Leave me alone! All right, we're just hitting that grace right there. And now we're gonna pop off to the Northwest. I feel like this type of environment, like sort of a flooded forest mm -hmm. is really like underutilized. Yeah. So I really like seeing it in this game. Yeah. Cause it's not like a swamp really. But yeah, it kind of like is. A, it's just a forest. It's a flooded forest. It's just a flooded forest. Look who's here. Pitches. He's doing such a wide... You gotta have good hip flexors for that. My man's got good hip flexors. Because he's like... Oh, well. Squirt and while. his knees are apart. Yeah. Me. Patches the untethered. He's untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier. So I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Hatches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. Speaking of. By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? You can ring my bell. Nice. We haven't met Raya yet, but we're about to after this. 
You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this. A surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs> it does not take you to the base of the Erd Tree if you get caught in that Iron Virgin. Is it? It doesn't look like... Iron. You gotta at least talk louder so it's, anyone can hear you. Yeah, but if I speak louder, <laughs> then people will hear me. If you're gonna say it, I have to. Expel if you're the gonna demons, say it, I have to expel the demons. Say it loud. I have to expel the demons, oh, or else I'll live in my brain. It actually does. Well, not not really. Not. It doesn't take you to a good place where you'd want to be. Tell me about what you spoke of before. Oh, yeah. Great story, isn't it? I'll tell you as many times as you like. There's a surviving Iron Virgin at the... Yeah, we, we got that. We got that. <laughs> Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart next time, eh? Patches hates it that we don't buy shit from him. But I will never buy shit from him. Oh, uh, these, these dudes. I do love these dudes. Ah. Yeah, they're like Iron Maidens. Yeah. But in this, they're called Iron Virgins. The ones, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. What? Hi. Hello. Hello. Please. Over here. It's Raya. Raya's a friend. Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. What is this Zelda um, ass timeline? He too is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. I will hear your request. If a ruffian has ruined your day, oh, I'll destroy him. Thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. The thug should be resting, please. All right, we're gonna go confront the thug. And the place where the thug is is so funny to me. You didn't see this when we played, Julia. Mm -mm. Because I, did, I didn't find Raya, and I didn't find this guy either. I was going to say, I've never seen Raya before. We just got to take a bit of a journey. It's just this house. Sitting here. In the middle of this lake. I love that. And it's called Boil Prawn Shack. Because he sits here. And he fucking cooks prawns. Oh. He's just a big old crab pot man. Oh, this might be my favorite location in the game. <laughs> <laughs> the boil prawn shack in the middle of the lake. We're at freaking Red Lobster here. Yeah, basically. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? <laughs> Give me the necklace. Ah. That necklace what you're after, is it? Mmm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. Necklace is worth one bird. Deal. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes. And don't try nothing, neither. So we just buy the necklace off him for a thousand. Mmm. All right. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. 
Don't go crying to me later. So then. Oh, piss off. <laughs> what is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? You like me lobster, boy? Freshly. You like me lobster, do ye? All right, then. It's yours. If you can meet me price, I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits, too. If you've got the runes. Yeah. About Raya. Oh. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? All right, well, sod the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway, she ain't all right, that one. Lucky she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. So now we have to buy a prawn from him. And Never then... With a taste for prawn, I can trust. We'd make good mates, I reckon. I'll be seeing you. When you buy a prawn, he's suddenly like... Oh, yeah, dude. Prawn lover? I think... This, Fellow prawn lad? This is basically how you make friends in France. <laughs> no one trusts you, and then you, like, buy the good shit, and everyone's like, actually? So then... You I like. You eat the prawn. And then talk to him again. Marika's tits. You must be hungry. You're tarnished too, ain't you? Can you see it then? The guidance of grace, I mean. I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between. Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Good talking to you, my prawn brother. My wonderful prawn brother. America's tits. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna go back to Raya with the necklace. He's got a really good voice actor. It's he has a beautiful voice. And I I love just like in this game when everyone's like, "Ye land of tarnished," <laughs> and he's like, "I'm just some shithead." Why am I here? It's like, I don't understand why I'm here. I just want to cook me prawns. Just want to make prawns. Anyway, yeah, you can have the necklace. Oh, you like prawns too? Oh, cool, we're friends. The thug should be rested. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Here you go. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya. In the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor, I, I seek stalwart Tarnished, who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Thank you. Brave Tarnished, seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most Tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. But you are no ordinary Tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. I styled me hair so that I look like a purse that's been put down on the shelf. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you see it looks like the straps and I the just, middle part is like the opening of the bag. I love looking at chat and seeing people being like, can someone link me to pictures of the prawn man? <laughs> <laughs> and then people saying, is prawn man a Tumblr sexy man? Maybe, yeah. Could be. He's kind He's of a like little a quirky. little quirky, a little villainous, but not really like gently villainous. Yeah. Oh, he's hot. He's not hot. One more he's a helmet. Only for you, this land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the high road. But the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, 
You must seek the old ruins in the cliff. At the base of the valley, near the Grand Lift, there's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends, linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you. A champion through and through. I do hope that we can meet again. Seek the at the base of it was excavated. I have faith in I do hope. I can't read chat for a while now because my monitor did the flicker thing. I keep trying things to see if it's going to fix the issue. If anyone in chat knows. You just. It just happens during Elden Ring. It. Yeah. Once or twice during the stream, the monitor will flicker off and back on. And then everything freezes. Like my Streamlabs freezes for a while and then my Google Chrome freezes for a while and then eventually it all refreshes, but I can still play the game. So I don't know. Eventually chat will refresh and I'll be able to read it again. So don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't you dare say anything. We're going to go pick up the map here. Someone got a close up view of the, the thief guy, but Whoever was taking the photo was wearing that, like, frog face. <laughs> Took a selfie with him, essentially. Yeah. I'm going to open chat on my phone, but usually by the time I pull it up. Chat. The last message frozen on my screen is, wait, is there a legit prawn man sexy link? <laughs> <laughs> That's the last message. It's all I get to read. Oh. Uh, uh, Jacob, you'll be happy to know that chat is mostly uh, dot, dot, dots. Oh, okay. Thank you, chat. And, and a few wise asses writing anything. Oh, I, I see you wise asses. You think you're funny, huh? You think this is a game? Okay, it refreshed. I can, I can see chat again. You can speak again. I just saw his tits are so huge. <laughs> Welcome back. Amidst the sea of dot, dot, dots. Hi, everybody. All right, we got ourselves a new map. A new map. A new map. And then now we got to go find Dialos. We never saw Dialos again in our playthrough. He's the Is guy the who was like, where's my servant? She's such a tomboy. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. And I'm trying to remember exactly. Is that the guy that I keep saying is Ezio Alditori? Yeah. Okay. He's to the north. I know this. I had a hard time finding him last time. He's just like on one of these roofs. I'll keep my eyes peeled. We just got to look out for him. There he is. Is that him? <laughs> and bad news. Oh, you. Oh. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Well, if you could answer me. Would, would you? you? <laughs> Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant, Lanya, and I refused to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refused to let the insult stand. The tale of I... Got it. Got it, Dialos. I want a romance book cover, but with... Prawn Man. <laughs> Just like a book cover of him and prawns. The strong like man with the the shirt billowing in the wind, and then there's like a prawn holding on to him. Yeah, leaning into his chest. So we're going, we're going to get the map fragment that's like up here somewhere. Okay, but I can't quite see it yet, so I'm just gonna have to ride in that direction. The password is Yammers with a capital Y. And after I get this map fragment, we will be doing the crystal tunnel in Liernia, and that's where I'll, where I'll be summoning, so.
Julia, please draw this. I have negative time. I have negative time. What if you uh, ignore some of your other responsibilities? If I ignore taxes. And, yeah. Don't yeah. pay taxes. Draw prawn man. Don't organize the team's taxes. Draw prawn man. Don't organize anime in my S city. Send the IRS a picture of prawn man. <laughs> they say, they <laughs> they send us a letter that's like, um, hey, you didn't pay taxes at all. Um, here's a fine. And I respond with a letter that's just a photo of prom man and yeah they go, yeah oh i see yeah i didn't realize cool paid i can draw it for you would you like me to tag you on tumblr if i do i mean if you draw it i'd love to see it yes i gotta get a tumblr going again yeah maybe i've been checking tumblr again i haven't been posting anything because i haven't been drawing anything but i saw there was a grace in there Oh shit, it's Lobster Town. Oh no, big Lobster Town. Legit, the scariest enemies in the game are these lobsters. Not tire mommies? No, the lobsters will one-shot snipe you. If you, you get too close to them. the lobsters. The lobster will straight up end your life. And their move... Their move comes out so fast. There was an enemy that was just blipping across your screen over there. Yeah, had a little bit of a... What the hell? I love these fellas. These little danglers. Oh, someone's mad over there. That was a cool view. Too bad you can't, like, hang out for a second to look at it. I'll stop to look at it. Look at this. Beautiful. That's so cool. The light hitting the academy. Hot air balloons is so romantic. A little closer, his body's hanging off the bottom. There's the map right here. Oh. I did a little hop accidentally. I got too excited. Pick up me map. Get me materials. And now we're going to go to the crystal tunnel, which is over here. Crystal tunnel, crystal tunnel, through the crystal. Crystal, 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 crystal tunnel. Lakeside Crystal Cave or a different crystal tunnel? I think it's just called Crystal Tunnel. I'll know for sure once I get there. I love bridges like this. Shadow of the Colossus had a bridge like this that you can, you know, run under. Yeah, they're so cool. Journey had a bridge like this. You know a game is epic in the real sense of the word, not the meme sense of the word. Yeah, epic. When it's got a bridge like that. Yeah. The Raya Lucaria Crystal Tunnel is the full name. Thank you. What's this? Somber Smithing Stone <laughs> 3. Thank you. <laughs> Just stood on him for a sec. Toidle. Toidle. Hello, Toidle. Hello, Toidle, my old friend. Ooh, so pretty. It's like that Paramour Decode music video. That we just watched before just this stream. Because it auto -plays. This. Some of this. Wow. Hup. I'll go to the grace and then. I thought you were going to say, I'll go to the grave. And I thought that was the coolest thing you've ever said. I'll go to the grave. I'll take it to the grave. I think this is all just freaking cracked crystals. Who gives a shit? But they're cracked, man. Who gives a shit? I want smithing stones. Okay? Okay. These are just cracked crystals. I can't smith shit with these stones. Where's my grace? You piece of shit. There it is. Do a little rest. And now it's time.
Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> right behind me. Be for Ronnie. Be for Ronnie. Here we go again. Get ready to greet properly. Oh, he's got the cool mask. You're so close to him. Imagine walking into someone's apartment and they're just like, <laughs> Welcome. What's up, Beaver Ronnie? Let's go. And then we will summon just some guy. I won't expect too much from you, just some guy. I'll right. expect you to do the normal amount of things. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting up, I'm getting up. Yeah. <laughs> what a team. All right, gamers, let's go. Damn, dude. You didn't stand a chance. Got blasted. Big stab. And that's it. Thanks, guys, for Thanks, being everyone, summoned. for your help. We appreciate it. We'll see you later. It's a joke. It's a joke. Freaking cracked crystals. Who gives Get a shit? Get out of here. What is it even used for? Nothing. I don't even know. Do you think that someone at a convention is going to be from a guy? They're going to, like, have the open, like, Henley. I mean, I'm sure that's already happened. And like a helmet and then... Yo, I got like the digger's bomb. staff. Oh. I've never gotten that before. That's cool. I'm gonna look up... Cosplay. Prawn cosplay? Yeah. <laughs> really just ganging up on these dudes. I think you can't pull this, right? You gotta go around. Person did say, been working on a big Bogart cosplay. They made the mask. You know, when you love prawns, you do what you gotta do. Good work, squad. No way, dude. You're not casting on my boys. You're not casting on my boys. Gonna take that. Let's see, is there, I know there's some stuff over here. There we go, that's that good stone. Oh my God, he is hot. What the hell? Damn, he actually is kind of hot, huh? Why are you wearing a bucket on your head? Maybe the he's hell, afraid dude? that his like natural good looks will detract from his rugged prawn-based personality. Okay, but that's like the plot of every Christmas Hallmark movie, basically. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, who's that? Hello. Give me the stones, won't you give me the stones? Cause I need them to upgrade my knife. And also my talisman. I do want to inform you that ads are gonna run in 10 minutes. That's okay. Okay. Just making sure you... Huh. We're gonna take the special way down. Cause I think there's stones in one of these. Darby Stones, one of these. I've abandoned my squad for the promise for of stones. Smithing stones. Smithing stones. Don't worry, squad, I'm coming. 
We'll be squatted up again soon. Before you know it. That was uh, nearly my ass. Yeah, you almost reunited them with your corpse. Yeah. Hello, gamers. My old friends. I've come to game with you again. There are any assholes in here? Oh, there's some stones. Fuck you. Oh, you pulled up the Millennium Falcon. Toast them. The, the dingle. The dingle? That's the technical term for it. Yeah, the Millennium Falcon with the dingle. All right. Listen, guys, be very careful. Just some guy, be careful. Don't fall, okay? This is dangerous. Walk very slowly. Be careful. Beefa Ronnie. Don't run. Don't beefa. Beefa Ronnie. Don't run. You walk on this. It's dangerous. And if you fall, it's, I'm reasonably certain it's a bottomless pit. Okay? So take this seriously. Gotta get these good stones. So I just said they're gonna play the sounds of silence on trombone champ. That sounds very funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna activate this shortcut. I'm dying over there. Probably an enemy. And we're going back down. Just riding elevators for fun. <laughs> Doing a cool lean, Beefarani? Alright, this is where all these fuckers are. Oh, yeah, goodness. get them, get them. Don't even give them a chance. Blast them! Ooh, what you got for me? All oh, right. Cuckoo Glintstone. Always hoping for that armor set. Because it Maybe is silly. Arms. Like the game? Yeah, the really good theme song. They play Wild Arms. <laughs> Smurthing Stones. Get their asses! Fuck them up! Get them! Don't let them shoot! Good work, squad. Good work, everyone. My reward is a crystal knife that I will never be using. If you've never heard the theme song to Wild Arms, the first game, Look it up. Look it up. It's so good. You got YouTube for a reason, don't you? Mm-hmm. The Wild Arms tune is my ringtone. Nice. Toast him. Toast him. Toast him. Consider yourselves toasted, and consider me rich with stones. Stones. What do you mean, suddenly? I'm stone rich. I got glenstone scrap, mama. I think there's Come a little... Here. Come here, little A little sweetie. something down here, a little treat for me. Shatter there earth spell. Them. Who's down there? He's on you. I could tell by the way you were talking to her. Yeah. Invaded by Bloody Finger Darius. We gotta go. Oh shit, there he is! <laughs> Fuck you, Darius! <laughs> you piece of shit! He rounded the corner and there he was. I'm gonna toast your well, ass, Darius! Darius just took so much damage. Oh, he died. What'd he die of? Did he fall in the pit? Did he fall in the pit? Darius, you can't cool guy stand there and fall in a pit. What happened? What happened, bud? Maybe he realized that you three were too much for him. Uh, we got raided by Pulp Fiction. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Meets at Neve. What did you do? Did you fall? Did you slip on your way over? Did you slip?
All right, boss time, y'all. Let right. me get. Um, you gotta defeat him in under five. Oh, he'll. The boss will be dead quickly. Let me just flame up. Flame up. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. It's just this here crystal fella. Oh, look at him dance. Howie. And once you break their armor, they go down like this. Get his ass. <laughs> wow. Good work, gamers. Let me give you one of these. Thank you for your service. I appreciate you both so deeply. And now that we have the uh, miner's bell bearing, we can buy smithing stones in round table hold. <laughs> I love everyone doing the ring in the in the chat. Yeah. Yammers. All right, we're gonna take a quick trip back to round table. Who's big bonging? Who's big bonging? So that we can upgrade. I don't wanna look at the fingers. Mm -mm. I don't wanna look at the fingers. Mm -mm. So that we can upgrade some things with these stones. Hello. I'm not dead, I'm never gonna be dead. Okay, so we can only upgrade. Well, I can buy another one. Oh my God. Now that I got that bearing. Now that we got our bearings. We can go over here. Hello, Ensha. I'll be killing you soon. <laughs> Who can say? And then I can purchase offer it do you just like do the offer <laughs> thing or you're like, like uh, do i put it in the I'm eye hole put it in front of you do you want it in your hand we'll take one of those thank you so much for your service olive why are you there come just come over here yeah good girl back already no matter my good girl Where's the holes, holes, holes emote from? Along with teeth, 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 and hands, hands, hands. You want to go up? Gotcha. Do I have this equipped? Have I had this shield equipped the whole time? What the hell? Jenna, that makes sense. That's beautiful. All right, we'll boost you. And we'll boost you. <laughs> Sorry, Jazz is pointing out that holes, 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 and teeth, teeth, teeth are all timed at different intervals. So they don't line up. In no, any they way. don't line up. <laughs> all right, I need to buy 12 more stones. Luigi. The ads are about to start in a minute. I'll warn you when they're about to happen. A minute ish. A minute ish. We think. Yeah, if, if all goes according to plan. May I have 12 stones, please? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's like those Christmas lights that are set to music. <laughs> it's really good. Did you ever have those houses in your town that like had the radio station that you turned to? And then it like lines up the music of the house? Uh, no, I'd, you could turn to a radio station and it would line up? Yeah. Like with your lights? No, like the if you go outside in your car, if you go in front of their house, like the lights line up with the, like a certain radio station, they would have a sign that would say like, turn to, you know, 81.5 or whatever. Oh, interesting. That's fun. Yeah. Thank have... you, Rockville Center. I have no way of getting two more smithing stone threes. It's gonna drive me crazy. Add starting, starting soon. soon. Let's see. 
How soon? How soon do we think the ads are going to start? 30 seconds. Oh, it was, it was 10 They started. Seconds. Nice. Okay. All right. It was 10 seconds. Miss on you. Meanwhile, I'm going to look where I can get a couple smithing stone threes from. How many do I need? Two? Back over my mat town. I love you, Miss Olive. I guess I need a lot more in general, but two for now. See if there's an easy place to get them. Smithing stone. I, I type smothing. Smothing stone. Smothing stone. Where's my smothing stones? Three on a corpse sitting on a chair surrounded by flower enemies. As you do. All right, whatever. I'll worry about that later. Maybe I'll find one just like on the way. I'll, I'll find some eventually, but what I'll probably do is um, just worry about it in between streams. Get yeah. my weapons all leveled up. That sounds... That sounds right. In between, so I don't have to bumble around like a fool in front of everyone. When and where is the next summon? That's a good question. Um, let me take a whoa, 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 whoa. Let me take a look at my list here. It will probably be, I might summon in the Albanoric village just to fight that little mini boss that's there. But I might not actually, I might just use Nefeli. I think it'll probably be the lakeside crystal cave will be the next place. But that'll be a while. So I don't know exactly when we're going to make it there or if we're going to make it there on this stream. But that'll be the next place. Lakeside Crystal Cave. Not to be confused with Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. I see you decided to eat your cookie. I don't. I don't want to bite, thank you. Anyone who bet Julia would eat her cookie at one hour, 14 minutes into the stream, you win. Is Yammer's code for something? So when we first started the stream, Julia jokingly said that we should call the stream Yam Stew for Gamers, like a chicken soup for the soul reference. And as soon as she said that to chat, chat latched onto it and um, have been saying yammers ever since. That is the origin of yammers. Do you think our stream would be as successful as it is if it was actually called Yam Stew for Gamers? Or do you think it would be more successful? <laughs> you would have one viewer. <laughs> it would be my mom being very supportive. <laughs> do you think more people would be tempted to click on a stream called Yam Stew for Gamers? All right, well, ads are over. Let's get back in the game, in the world of the game. Do you think we should have named the stream something that's like one, one word? One word, I don't know why. Doesn't even matter how hard you try. You no longer have audio? Is that just you? Everyone can hear me, right? <laughs> I'm still here, right? I'm alive. Audio fine. All right. 
It's just quiet. It's the same as it has been. Same as it ever was. It has not been changed. If it's quiet, turn up your volume. That's on your end. What if we name the stream something like plant? Instead of like uh, elaborate, like elaborate on that. And I have to. That's the beauty. <laughs> like, why is ninja called ninja? Well, ninja, I think, is a, a bit more evocative than plant. Plant will 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 grow on you. <laughs> <laughs> plant. We're a breath of fresh air. We're a breath of fresh plant. Time to revisit an old friend or foe, oh, depending God. on how you look at it. It's kind of like the dude on campus that you're like, oh, God. Ah, I know you're going to talk to me. Are. Yeah. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What was your impression? So here we got to say they didn't seem right, which truthfully is what I believe about the two fingers. Yeah. They do not seem right. And I would not describe them as magnificent. They're a little. They are nasty decayed. and I hate them. Aha. Uh -huh. Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up. You see, the words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly. Naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. This guy hates fingers. Oh, I have a gift for you, something fit only for the wise. Oh, thank you. A festering bloody finger. That's just what I wanted. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Okay. Give it a try, won't you? What do you mean? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. So this is the invasion item. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. <laughs> There's no reason to dither. You the can't just say that. Was spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world. <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. Be sure to. I'm yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try that finger you gave me. I a lore question. For yes. You. And you might not know the answer, but you may. Yes. Why he covered in blood? Who he kill? Uh, that that is will become clear. Okay. Why he's covered in blood? Um, soon. Okay. But first, we have to do three invasions in order to. Uh, I might have to turn off the multiplayer password to do this, unless I can just like invade other yammers. I don't know how that works, <laughs> um, but I'm going to delete it because I don't like doing invasions. So I'm just going to do them and then leave immediately. Wherever you are. Invade me. Here's Send me. What if we named the stream Buckets? Buckets? Buckets! I like plant. Plant really grew on me. So you already made that joke, Julia. Yeah, but the context changes <laughs> it. You can only make the plant grows on you joke. I, I did a setup before, and then I brought it back. It's called a callback. Let me invade! Oh, hello! 
Hello. Put me somewhere, please. Jacob and I are like a month into being married, and I feel like sometimes Jacob's like, I'm gonna mentally chart this down for the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> this one moment. So she I'm, I'm gonna go. Bad jokes. I'm gonna go to the divorce attorney and say she made the same joke about plants twice. Yeah. And the divorce attorney is gonna go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's fair. Nobody's playing Elden Ring right now. When I did this on my test run of this uh, of this playthrough, I got the invasions immediately. And now when I'm doing it live on stream, it's like, I don't know, I can't find anybody. I, I don't know, there's nobody in the game. Oh, we found someone. Hmm. This game's empty. Do you think you're going to be dressed normally or like have like a wild helmet on what we're probably not going to see them because oh. i'm just going to leave oh. once i get there okay oh i'm in Stormvale. atreus bye see you later <laughs> did i scare you atreus <laughs> <laughs> were you frightened Miss Olive. All right, now we do another one. And hopefully it happens fast. Do Olive enjoy every meow and then run away as soon as we look in their direction? Usually when they meow, they want something. our attention or something from us. Yeah. And if they run in the other direction, that means they want to play. Usually they run together. I hope it's Atreus again. <laughs> My favorite move that Olive does when she's really excited is that she'll be like really calm but she'll be standing over a toy and then she'll just kick up on all fours and spin and like launch the toy into the air and that spin and then run like run away on all fours. Yeah. It's really cute. She hops around like a little bunny. Yeah. She has all four paws. She just bounces like this. It's so cute. Damn, it's getting kind of foggy out here actually. <laughs> uh, this draw distance is bad. Bro, are you seeing this? Are we getting Silent Hill right now? Do all of Joy ever bring you a toy and yell? Joy likes to play fetch sometimes. Yeah. And Olive did bring me a cockroach and yelled. Yeah, that's that's a toy if you think about it. She was just very uh, proud of it. Fish Fist said, thanks for teaching me about the other patches gesture last stream. I had no idea. That's my hope for this series of streams is that people who played the games, maybe you'll see something you hadn't seen before. So I'm glad that you learned something new. Whose world did we invade? Navi. Bye, Navi. Wow, cool. what's going on with the wind here? Bananas. This is the storm, storm hill thing. It's always windy up there. And now we just got to do one more. Put me in, coach. Joy heard us talking about her. So she's uh, arrived. Hi, Joy. Bye, Joy Cat. What's Joy up? has been very in need of attention today. Come here. She's been wanting to be in laps. Let's get a nice view here. Now you're just going to stare at me. She'd been in laps all day. Come here. Preventing us from doing things we needed to do. But it's very cute. And she keeps going upside down in the lap too. Yeah. Which is the cutest thing. 
She also now, uh, when she's in Jacob's lap, sometimes she'll just reach out a paw and like touch his chest. Or my face. Or his face. <laughs> she'll reach up very slowly and touch my face. It's adorable. Where'd she go? Where'd your sister go? Oh, Damn, look going, at that moon. She's going poopy. That's a wolf moon right there. Oh. If I were a wolf, I'd be howling at that shit. Guaranteed. Hello, Vare. Any tips for we got it. allergic and having cats? Allegra. Got to get that allergy med and I'd be sure Allegra. to try to get up as much hair as you can. Yeah. I vacuum a lot. I do shed stuff quite a bit. I Whose get, world? Um... Mr. Nobody. Wow. Well, nobody is going to bother you today. Uh, also, uh, allergy relieving eye drops. Somebody's using the bathroom. It's on a uh, joy cut. Hedge Witch Wren. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Uh, now we talk to him again. Oh, Lambkin. So pleased you're here. I hate that. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Mm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Please anoint me. Please never call me lambkin hmm. again. Yes. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this. And that does explain the blood. He works for the Lord of Blood. You're right. So he's covered in blood. Okay, that's fair. For your final trial, soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. Nice. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. <laughs> Any what? maiden you find is fine. This man's the a sicko. is your final trial. Soak it with the blood of a maiden. The blood of anyone's maiden will do. You are maidenless, after all. No maidens? I like how he calls you maidenless, and then he also calls you maidenless. Well, different emphasis there. You are maidenless, after all. Okay, now that that's done for now, we will get the blood later. We got to go back to Patches. And now we're going to go to one of your favorite places, the Albanoric Village. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about how much I hate the, the nickname Lambkin or whatever. By Lambkin. Ugh. It's good, though, because it's, it's evocative. Do you smell Joy's poop? Yeah. Damn it, Joy. I got it. So this area is super cool because you think you're going to like a cliff, but then as you approach it, you're like, this cliff is open underneath, which you can't see from far away. They like designed it so you can't tell until you get up on it. And then as you go in, it's this weird swamp. And there's like a dark village under here underneath the the cliff let me light my lantern so we can see what the hell we're doing yeah i just really liked this place because i wasn't expecting it it's it's like such a weird spot but also like not so weird that it's like unrealistic 
and there's a familiar this... face here. Oh. Go ahead, Julia. If this spot did exist in this like cave, like all like people would have settled here. Yeah, and people did settle here. The Albanorix. Yeah. Oh, it's you. Well, what do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare made by men. Get him. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Oh, justice Jesus. to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Hell yeah, Nefeli. Put this time, and though the suffering cannot justice to the let the Nefeli scars rules. I I'm glad we're seeing more of her than I did the original, the first time. Yeah, we'll we'll get her whole quest line this time. Hi, Joy. So we're gonna go snag this Grace, and I'll also make it daytime so we can see a little better. Yeah. Yes, I did. Why are you, you and your sister here? Do you have poop on your foot? I will put the Yammer's password back on. How you doing? Yeah, Yanners? Yammer's. We can see what this fella has to say. This village is done for. Please, even if it's just you, old Albus, hide well and still your breath. Poor Albanorix. Alba old Albus is exactly who we're going to be seeking right now. I love the silhouettes. Whenever you look up and you see like the... Oh, I actually have to kill this man. The buildings. Oh, you hate it, don't you? I got more where that came from. I can toss as many fireballs as you need, bro. Have a little Miranda rights with some Miranda powder. Can you tell where Albus might be hiding? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see any- mm, You should grab those flowers. Any sort of visual indication? that might hint at where he is. Where could he be? Hmm, is he in here? Nope, just an ivory sickle. Is he here? Please no, dear me. Found you. I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Hey, sweetie. Wait, then. You're not one of them. Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus and Albinoric. As you can see, we're finished. The whole village is finished. Please look at our cat. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. What about no her? one that remains has yeah, their wits about them. I beg you. <laughs> Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the cursemonger's hands. Did she have some poop on her face? Yeah. Like... Oh, it's like litter. <laughs> you got some litter on your face, bud. Okay. Good job. You disgusting creature. How the hell did she do that? What's wrong with you? Jump up. What's or or go you? see Julia. But you gotta do something. You have to pick. And if you should meet the young Albinorek Latena, then please give it to her. A chosen land awaits us, Albinorex. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena, it is needed to fulfill her purpose. 
My legs will soon fade, and with them my life. Alas, this is the immovable fate of all Albinorex. <laughs> Rip. Poor dude. Rip a Roonies. He's just gonna lay down and die now. Sorry, bud. It's a tough break for you, my friend. All right, so now. Broke over your mouth. He can't even close his mouth. No. Nope. We're gonna ride over here and take a little vengeance for Albus. There is down here an omen that has been one of the people attacking this village. And also we can summon Nefeli to help us take vengeance. Come on, Nefeli. Can that dude like chill out back there? Nefeli, you're in the game. There's no excuse for it to take that long to summon you. You're not like an online cooperator. Come on, Nefeli. Don't worry about them. We got our own stuff to worry about down here. Gonna grant me a little strength. Bro, calm down. That's bad. Nefeli, cover for me. Got your ass. Welcome to hell. Do you see that big, cool that big look. chunk from that stab? Yep. Welcome to hell. Good work, Nefeli. And we get the Crucible Knot Talisman. I don't even remember what that does. Reduces damage and impact of headshots. That's gotta be one of the most worthless talismans in the game. I don't think there's any items of, of import. Dog, get, get away. There's this down here. Is this an item of import? Just a rune arc that I'll probably never use. All right, now we gotta go back and talk to Nefeli again. Don't shoot me, bro. I like that the that it's like surrounded by like poison look of water. Right, I think we have to reload the game, as I recall. I think you reload it just to make sure Nefeli moves on to her next location, which I think she already did because she wasn't there. But it's to be safe. And then we go back to round table to have some important, important discursions. Yeah, Nefeli's gone. She's gone as hell. Say goodbye to the village of the Albanorix. <laughs> we hardly knew ye. So cool looking though. Really cool. I love the design of this place. It's like perfect other than it's like so dark in there. Oh, and this is where... Um, Insha invades. Oh, right. Get toasted. Welcome to Toasty Town. I remember like how upset we were when that happened. Yeah, I was like, when I got to Round Table Hold and it was dark, I was like, what the hell? Yeah. I was so scared. And then she shows up to kick your ass. Clinging bone. You get the clinging bone, and then if you come over here, you get 
Ensha's armor set. Does she always attack you after you do the Albanorx village? Yep. I'm sorry, he? Yep. <laughs> so we can see how much of this we can equip. Because it's generally better. It's kind of a sick look. It is. We'll go with this, this sort of bone hood look. Bone hood! Hey Gideon, can we talk about your boy Insha? Uh, you. What is it? You show up looking exactly like him, and you're like. Yeah, um. Hey, about Insha. Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Insha got rather ahead of himself, it seems, as his master. I'd like to express my regret, but now, Ensha is slain and gone, <laughs> finished, forevermore. Do you have any more to say about that? Can you speak on that? Ah, yes. By way of apology, allow me to tender some advice in regard to the half of the secret medallion you possess. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I'm sure. Hey, about those secret medallions? Find the Albino. She hides it's just the it. same shit them. you already told me. Horrible apology. I, he just, he sucks. Like, I know you sent Ensha. Why else would Ensha attack me? He, it, it was kind of the same apology that you give when, like, you bring your friend to your grandma's house and your grandma has like this shitty old pet that like bites everyone and you're like oh, yeah sorry about that he kind of sucks yeah like, like, gonna sorry die you soon. got bit now we got more Diallo's dialogue ah you again is it the recusants sent a lucky can you believe they invited me to join them now after what they did i can scarcely believe it myself do they think me a fool you might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then I only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. So his volcano manor is, mm. they're the ones who killed Lanya. And then they invited Dialos to join. So he's going to go there to take revenge. Love it's it. on Mount Gelmir. That's where they are. Just you wait. The tale of how. Now we have uh, more dialogue with Nefeli, who has returned to Roundtable Hold. Oh, she's not over here. She's the other way. Nefeli, Nefeli. No, not you. I don't want to look at the fingers. Do you think the old lady like put herself in the room with the fingers so that people won't bother her as much? Is this when Nefeli goes down here? Yeah, there you are. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I, I need to think. It's not pathetic, girl. We all got. Yeah, we all got to take some time. It's not pathetic. Ah, oh, you. Please, it's pathetic. I know. Okay. Listen, you take your time. You do what you need to do. Do you? I am gonna ask Gideon about this. About why? About you're in why? The why you're in the basement and bummed out? Gideon will be like, ah, oh, yes. She made me my daughter, but she sucks. <laughs> And I hate her. Well, he already said that she's basically just for her usefulness and he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Ah, uh, she moping again in the basement. Well, what is it now? Nefeli's despair. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions. So I had no further use for her. Honestly, what's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn. Quite frankly, I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. 
a dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. <laughs> so Gideon tried to have us killed. Yep. And he also basically told his own daughter, yep. Nefeli, to fuck off because she started looking into things. Gideon, Gideon bad. That's the signs of a bad dad. Um, so we are going to have time to do Lakeside Crystal Cave. So that's where I'll be summoning next is Lakeside Crystal Cave. Meet me there, you cowards. Gideon's the kind of dad that's like where you go, why? And they said, because I told you to. And you're like, but I'm like 25. Yeah. <laughs> You need to give me a reason. Yeah, it's like point. I'm an adult and I have two axes. Yeah. And I've done a lot of murder. And then when you don't do as every whim, he's like, wow, what happened to you? Yeah, you're, you you're no longer good. my daughter who did everything you I said. You ruined our relationship. All of you, because I'm great. Where's this freaking cave? Cave? Someone in chat just said, not gonna lie, damn near had a stroke trying to find this cave. Well, now I'm about to have a stroke trying to find this cave. It's like over here in the bushes or some shit, right? Oh, sorry. There it is. Yeah, that sucks. That's it's, a it's a tough one to see. It's like right on the line of shadow and light. Yeah. That's cool. Window cat. Window cat. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Joy was in that window the other day. She was sleeping. You see the cat in the window? How much is up? Oh, she's leaving the window. Olive, don't you care about content? Treasure for me? Arteria leaf. Reach out and touch Grace. Do a quick rest. And then we'll do a quick summon. Not like that we won't. Like this. Whoa. Oh, hello. You but not. <laughs> Holy shit. It's oh my, my shadow. God. God, goblet My head. dark passenger. And who, who is this here? Damn. I feel like we've summoned them before. Is Lady Gay? Cool lady. It's a cool lady. We'll see. We'll see from the name. What's up, you but not? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Are they a, a punch person? No, they have a talisman. Must uh, be Faith. You awesome. are... Kara. Kara. Let's go, Kara. Kara, get in here. I want to put like a little like a little baby in the top of that goblet. <laughs> it's a perfect baby goblet. I like a little cat to curl up and sleep. Yeah, I put yammers back on. That's why we're getting yammers in here. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Do you like the look? It's new. Kara. Let's go. All right, Dungan time. Ooh, you almost plummeted. We're gonna have to drop down. Nice try, asshole. He jumped out of the bush and was like, oh no. Uh, I know y'all will hear me late, but we're just gonna go down. There's no reason to go that way. Come with me. Invaded. Invaded? By air streaming. Holy shit. I guess that's why your, your buddies were Whoa, get toasted! Holy! Welcome to Toasty Holy Town, motherfucker! Baloney. Wow, good job, y'all! I mean, I guess while we're here, we may as well. Maybe there's a smithing stone. Yeah! No, there's no smithing stones in here. Maybe this is a waste of time. Your crew. You don't need to do anything. A couple oh little God. little bossies in here. Oh 
<laughs> oh! This crew is powerful. Get out of the way, you me but not. You're not me, you can't open the chest. Well, that's right, the spear talisman is in there. Not one we'll be using, but... Hup, hup. All right, now we do our, our little droppies. Little droppy doos. We got to go down, down in an earlier round. Yeah, it's this way. Looks like it'll kill you, but it won't. <laughs> This one, and then through the tunnel, and into snail hell. Crystal snails. Don't got time for you snails. Looks like it would be, huh? No, we're going this way. Dude, just face yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was a pleasant sound. Soft got cotton. Some soft cotton off that booty. Damn, grill, your ass is like soft cotton. Lump of flesh. Smithing stone four, smithing stone two. Don't mind if I do. Then there's ow, gonna ow, be. Ow, 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 ow. You know there's gonna be some snails. Where else would snails be? And then in here will be a boss, so we'll go ahead. Hit the wrong button. Everyone get juiced, juice up. We're just gonna fuck this guy right up, so. Oh, I do like how he moves. Oh my god! <sighs> Oh no! I'm so sorry, everyone. Well, he died. <laughs> Goddamn! In thanks, your, thanks for killing him, squad. In your death, your your squad just takes the items from the boss and puts it on your corpse. I was uh, sadly not paying enough attention because I didn't think I was in any actual threat. That's okay. So do you remember when we used to play this game in the first time and that noise, that screech that they just did drove me nuts because I was like, that's in a song and I think it's a Sigur Ross song uh -huh. and I couldn't remember what it was. I remembered what it was. What is it? Sigur Ross did a song for Game of Thrones and it was on YouTube and I loved it and I had it on loop back in the office and they have that sound effect before like I think it's like an accordion or something comes in. Not an accordion, but you know what I mean. It's you that sound effect. You don't know what the song is called? It's like... It's is it in like Ross. Icelandic or some shit? I'm gonna look it up. I think they only did... It's the one that they did for Joffrey Wedding, I think. We got a new friend! Remember this friend? Oh, yeah. Also, R.I.P. to this wolf ahead of time. Reigns of Castle. What do you want? I told the all hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? I'm going to show you the secret medallion that Albus gave to me. Oh, do you speak true? 
So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena, an Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute, I hope that you will forgive me. She's talking about Gideon. Because he's the all-knowing. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallion's other half. I will hear your request. Thank you kindly. Just go They voice. say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. I remember Latena because she was like your number one. Call upon me when needed. Like you, and I you called her so much. I, I used her for a bit. Yeah. Because she shoots from afar, which is helpful. Yeah. But she also has a fun... Um, interaction in the game which is that if you summon her in a fight with wolves in it her spirit summon will jump on the back of one of the wolves That's and start awesome. riding it around and shooting from the back of the wolf which is really cool gideon number one enemy because he killed a dog he sucks gideon bad and we hate him Yeah, I remember that storyline because it made me sad. All right, now we go here again. Kitty and Cans. How much time we got? Five minutes? Five minutes. It's probably enough to get like one more thing done. So now we're going to go. Excuse me. Oh, turn my lamp off. Turn my lamp on. Get on my horse. Turn my lamp off. Carry me home. Na 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 na. So now we're gonna go to the Revengers Shack. Which is a pretty sick name for a place. We're gonna go there and we're gonna do a murder on the Revenger. Real quick, I gotta go west. Go west. I gotta go more west. Ignore that, man. We're not really grabbing flowers anymore, right? Because that person gave us like a, a million of them. I mean, I'm grabbing them if they're convenient. Oh, okay. You, you passed over one, but I think you were looking at chat. So I was just checking. We don't, yeah, we don't have to. Okay, cool. Because we have a lot. Yeah. Take a little more vigor. Thank you. Let's see, we're going to like... I forget exactly where it is. It's like up here somewhere. We'll see it. Is Wednesday the dedicated Elden Ring time slot for the next while? I don't usually watch live, but this was very fun. Yes. Yes. We'll be doing Elden Ring Wednesdays until I complete the game. 
Also, thank you for saying that you've been enjoying it. Yeah, I'm glad you've been enjoying it. I hope uh, I hope everyone's been having a good time with these because I've been having a good time doing them. And Jacob's been excited to do it. And sometimes it like it's such a it's such a bummer when you're excited for a thing and someone's like, mm, I don't want to. Which I get. Yeah, it's not gonna be for everyone, and also it like you know takes a lot of time. So yeah. I always feel like conflicted about it. But but when you're excited, you just want other people to be excited. Here comes the Revenger. Edgar, what's up, gamer? Get toasted. You cannot dodge my flames, gamer. Don't do that. Don't waste my time. What was that? It's like a heal over time. Oh. I'm gonna get you. I got you. Because he oh. has a Shariri grape, which we need. Yeah, we sure do. And he gives you the Banished Knight's Halberd plus eight, which is a, a great weapon if you are at this point in the game and have an underleveled weapon. And some raw meat dumplings. Great. And there's plenty of raw meat dumplings inside this shack. So, you know, you can kind of get a hint at what he's been up to in here. That's so weird. He's been just having some raw meat dumplings. I have a lore question about the invaders. Yeah. So invaders can be randos, but also there's like built-in invaders. Yes. What's like, what's, what's canonically their deal? If anything. Uh, I think there's different things that are canonically their deals. Oh, okay. Like why are they invaders as opposed to just like some dude hanging out in a shack making meat dumplings? Usually the invaders mean like it's a person that's explicitly come to kill you. Mm. Then they're an invader. Okay. And you're an invader when you're going to explicitly kill someone else. Mm -hmm. There's like a point in the game later when you can do invasions on other NPCs. Yeah. And then like you're the invader. So I think it has something to do with that. They're like. Okay. Other characters. Uh, Minion Bus Driving Us said two factions, Volcano Manor and Lord of Blood, both want to kill Tarnish, can be NPC or other people. Gotcha. There you go. Thank you. Oh, is B. John here? How's it going, B. John? Hi. Long time no talk. Yeah. How you been? We've just Hi, been doing a, we've been doing this Elden Ring playthrough where we're doing all the NPC quest lines. Which has been a lot of fun because I've mm -hmm. also been learning how to play the game and see all the NPC quest lines, which I haven't seen most of them. So it's been cool to go through. Uh, we're also at the end of the stream, though. Sure are. It's stream over. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching and hanging out with us. We got Anime NYC this coming weekend. Mm hmm. So we won't be streaming on Sunday night, mm -hmm. unfortunately, since we do want to continue the case of the Golden Idol. Yes. Finish it. We yep. got like two cases left in that. Yep. But we'll be back next Wednesday for more Elden Ring. And then the Sunday after that, we'll finish case of the Golden Idol. Yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah. It's Thanksgiving week, but we'll still be streaming. Yeah, we'll be streaming. Because we'll be here. For sure. Uh, and that's... All we got going on. Yeah. There's no... Bijan said, if you want to hang out while you're in NYC, let me know. We live in NYC. Yeah. We can hang out anytime. Anytime. If you want to hang out, just let us know. We'll hang out. Yeah. Also, no Droppy stream on Monday. Yeah, That's no it. Droppy stream on Monday. Yeah. That's it. I think. I think that's everything. Uh, yes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.